The military government of Sudan is asking the international community to designate the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, as a terrorist organization and wants them to be held accountable for the ongoing crisis in Sudan. The Sudanese ambassador to Nigeria made the call while briefing journalists on happenings in Sudan and the way forward in ending the crisis. Moya Thomas has more. In what seems like a sharp turnaround, the Sudanese army has labeled the RSF as insurgents and wants the world to recognize them as such. This may come as a shock to many, as despite the many atrocities of the RSF in the past, the army under Omar al-Bashir in 2013 formalized the militia group, giving some of its leaders military ranks. In 2017, the laws of Sudan also upgraded them as independent security forces. Army has, on some occasions, also deployed the RSF groups to quell crises in and outside Sudan. Now that the understanding they once shared has gone sour, the Sudanese Armed Forces says the RSF group is behind the almost one-month-old crisis in Sudan. The Sudanese ambassador to Nigeria, Mohamed Yusuf, gave further insight into the genesis of the crisis. The integration of rebel support forces into the army, according to the view, of the army, it should be done within two years. There are two years were set for the transitional civilian-led government. The commander of Insanian Traffic Support Forces was of the view that the integration of his forces into the national army should be reached within a 10-year period of time. He says efforts by the UN, AU, IGAD, Arab League, OIC to reach a truce has not been respected by the RSF. Sudan has accepted and approved to go to Jeddah and also the Syrian RSF they approved and negotiations are going there. But till now no official outcome from these negotiations there and where they did reach and what uh, points they agreed and what point of differences yet. He assures that the military government of Sudan is ready to abide by any truce and remains committed to a transition to democracy once the RSF is ready to lay down arms and continue with the reintegration process as planned. The call now is on both factions to consider peace and enthrone democracy for the sake of the over 40 million citizens in Sudan. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.